how's it going friends demon driver here thank you for joining me once again well i am back here in my workshop back home uh honeymoon is over and now it's back to work and uh what i have behind me is the subject of this video and i got two g650s right here and this video is going to be showcasing and kind of an update for my customer as to uh, how his plane is coming and um, let's get right into it come on okay what we have here are two Gulfstream G650s optimized for 40 or 50 millimeter EDFs um, this one is my customers that one is mine um, they have about a 50 inch wingspan and about a 47 48 inch long fuselage and uh, this is kind of really the embodiment of my new style of building and uh, both these girls are just really I have to admit these are sexy jets look at those wingspans man look at that I have to admit they're coming along really good Look at those winglets, all balsa, hand sanded, and then blended into the wing with uh, lightweight spackle. Um, fitted with two 50 millimeter nine blade EDFs, you can see them in there. And we have uh, Lightweight styrofoam construction, hollowed out nose, um, lightweight white styrofoam fuse tube, hot wired, hollowed out, and then wrapped with 132nd balsa skin. Wings are uh, white styrofoam hot wired out and then wrapped with 132nd balsa. They have a 132nd sheet over top, then sanded. We have a balsa leading edge that will be a, a, a slat. A Kruger flap that will come down, um, and then we got flaps, ailerons, normal rudder, elevators and stabilizer. Um, she's going to have retracts, gear doors, um, all that stuff, and he's going to have a custom paint scheme that I'm going to do that's going to be to his desired paint scheme that he sent me. It's going to be really nice. All right, so um, these are both optimized for 50 millimeter EDF um, from Hobby King. This is roughly the uh, this is this is the three cell version of the um, of the 50 millimeter, and uh, the four cell version that both of these planes have um, has a larger brushless motor, and uh, this one, my customer's plane, has a nine bladed. Nine bladed EDFs, and mine back there has a five bladed. Same blade configuration, five blade, but it has a larger brushless motor, which is optimized again for a four cell battery. Now, I told you guys that the wingspan is about 50 inches, and the, um, let's get you a rundown of the overall length of the fuselage. They're really not that big. Length is basically on the fuse is uh, about 40, 44, 45 inches. So it's, so it's relatively small. It, I mean, this is the kind of plane that you uh, take the fuse off the wings and you can basically put this in your car. So it's, it's really small, bite sized. Let me give you an idea how small this plane really is. It's really not that big. Pretty, pretty small, not a very big RC airplane. You know, while you guys are here, let's go ahead and weigh one of these and see how much they weigh overall. Let's go ahead and weigh one of these airplanes. We got a scale here. We have a uh, we have a 25 pound scale. Make sure it's zeroed properly. There we are. Right, let's 
go ahead and weigh one of these birds. Very tail heavy. <laughs> Very tail heavy. And let's have a look here. Not even two pounds. Less than two pounds already. And that's with the EDFs fitted. Um, so I would say with batteries and everything else put inside, probably maybe three and a half pounds for the whole plane. Three and a quarter at the most. And that's a mean looking jet. Look at that. <laughs> Tell me that isn't cool looking. Oh, that is awesome. You know, while we're here, you know what? You know, I've got the uh, EDFs hooked up on this, uh, on my customer's G650. I've got the EDFs hooked up. You know what? Let's do a power test. Let's run this thing up right now. What do you say? Let's run it up. Two turner G bolts. Got my radio. Got a Y connector for the uh, ESCs. Here are the 240 amp. Got 240 amp. 240 amp ESCs from DYS. Um, got two bolt 1300 milliamp turn to G lipo batteries 65 to 130 C burst four cell very powerful what do you say let's run it up all right let's power this girl up all right radio on power all the way down receiver ready we're in y connected both speed controllers and channel three Okay, let's give a little power to it, pre-power, before we connect to the batteries. Right, got the two beeps up. Alright, that's good. That's always a good sound. Let's get our let's get our Turnergy bolt batteries hooked up. Four cell, 1300 milliamp. These are about roughly about the size of the batteries that'll run in this plane. They'll be up in the nose. Very tail heavy. T tails are always tail heavy. One battery. And two batteries. There we go. Everything's outside the plane now. ESC's batteries outside the plane. When it's done and flying, all this will be in the forward area of the fuse here to counteract the tail heavy nature of this plane. All right, let's power up. Put my hand here to hold the plane so it doesn't jump off the table. That has happened. I've had planes jump off tables before. Applying power, here we go. We got power. Okay, this one's running backwards. And how do we deal with that? This is how we deal with it. Very easy. When you got an EDF running backwards, or any motor running backwards, simply go to go to the three wires of the brushless motor and swap one of them out, one of the plugs out, and swap one like that. And keep doing that until you get the motor running in the right direction. All right. Go ahead and try that again. Let's power this girl up again. Here we go. Good. You know what? For safety's sake, I'm moving that. I'm moving that other G6. <laughs> I'm moving my G650 out of there. That's what I get to get blown off the table. Let me get this thing out of here. <laughs> 
You want to see something funny? Here's a 50 millimeter EDF. Here's a 125 millimeter EDF, five inch. <laughs> Two inch, five inch. <laughs> Look at the size of this monster. This thing is... <laughs> this is going to be powering massive airliners I'm, I've got coming in the next year or two. Puts out about 16 pounds of thrust. Look how big that is. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? All right. Let's power up again. No more than 50% power on that. No more than 50% power. Hopefully you guys can see this. We're going to take her up about 50% power. All right, let's run her up here and see what kind of see what kind of numbers we we got. We'll take her up about 50% power. Looks good. Okay, let me show you how the these G650s uh, come apart. Basically, the fuselage comes off the uh, the entire wings uh, central wing core. Here's the fuse. In this area, I'm going to put a battery hatch right in there for the battery and ESCs. There's going to be a nose nose gear retract. Circle the street track right there, but uh, that's how it all fits together. Pretty, pretty straightforward. The wing there's going to be um, four bolts, two forward, two aft, and that's what you're going to uh, bolt the bolt the wing section to the uh, fuselage. Let me show you the wings. The wings are pretty straightforward. Uh, the G650 has a different leading edge than the um, 550 and that is it has a slight kink moving out like that and you can kind of see it right there there's the kink see it it's a much more advanced wing and a larger wing it's designed for a greater range better fuel economy than the uh, 5 series the G500 series the 550 and uh, older, older Gulfstream like the Gulfstream 5, the 4, and the winglets help with the uh, with fuel economy and uh, help reduce drag. So that's basically it. These are your main two pieces: fuselage section and wing. Now on the underside, they have not been um, covered yet. 
I've dug out the areas where the ball, uh, where the um, servos are going to go. This is going to be the aileron servo here is going to fit in there. Leading edge slat servo is going to go there. Flap servo is going to go there. And uh, serverless retract, main serverless retract will fit here and here. And then a one piece of uh, one millimeter Depron sheet will fit down over top of this to give a nice clean um, bottom to the wing. But so, as you can see, it's a really, really big wing. Big wing. Big, 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 big wing. And uh, here are the EDFs and engine cowls from the bottom. Um, these are uh, 50 millimeter nine blade um, Dr. Mad Thrust EDFs. And this is the access port below each one. There's a um, cover that goes over that. These wires will run through the tail and then run down into the fuselage. You can see into the fuse here, it's hollowed out carbon fiber rods. We've got uh, servo leads, servo extensions in here. Um, there are servo extensions that run through the tail, up into the tail, and there's one servo lead there for the elevator servos. One here, one there, to drive the, uh, to drive the elevator. I believe in T-Tails having their servo up at the actual um, point of control rather than running linkages and stuff through the tail which adds to uh, further complication just makes life a lot a lot more difficult you know what I didn't show you yet I showed you the uh, G650's top you know from the top down but you know what I'll see something look at the belly of this plane tell me the belly of this plane doesn't look sexy Look at that. Does that look? I mean, look at that. This is a good looking. This is a good looking plane, the G650. Big wing, man. Look at the size of this wing on this plane. Isn't that awesome? Look how massive this wing is. This plane. I can I, What I want to do is I want to build a massive version of this maybe a hundred inches long, just some, like big, like two hundred millimeter, two uh, ninety millimeter EDFs. This is, this is small. It's a very small plane. But, uh, doesn't that look awesome? That's one of the sec most sexiest bellies I've ever seen on an airplane. Isn't that cool? And it got dark real fast, huh? <laughs> no, but as you can see, these uh, G650s are coming along really good, and um, to my customer, your plane is coming along beautifully. As you can see in the video, her engines run great, and next step beyond this is the taxi test, the all-up test, where everything is tested, flight controls, EDF, uh, retracts, and then she is packed up and shipped to you, and you'll be flying it. So this is why I scratch build, because you can build whatever you want. You can literally build anything you want. Limited only by your imagination. So, uh, Demon Driver here. So, back to work, back to building, and uh, more build videos coming up soon. Okay, guys, you take care. Bye bye.